Hey guys, Dr. Shaw again with the Upper Cervical Spine Center, and today I want to talk to you about symptoms in the arms, okay? Now these symptoms include things like pain, weakness, numbness, tingling, whatever it may be, but we know that it's a neurological issue, okay? And we know that it's most likely coming from the neck, okay? So let's talk about normal neck physiology and why the neck is the way it is so we can understand why we may get this pain down the arm, okay? If we look at the left side of my screen, we can see a nice, perfect cervical curve. Now the cervical curve is supposed to be in a backward C shape. The reason being is because we have a 10 to 15 pound head sitting on top of a small little neck and we need this head to be, the weight of the head, to be distributed throughout the entire neck, okay? That provides equal shock absorbency throughout the neck, so the stress of the head does not damage any of the neck, okay? However, when there's a misalignment in the top bone of the neck, okay, taking the brain off center, the brain has to compensate the spine in order to level itself out, okay? What that looks like is when this bone is misaligned, whether it's misaligned this way or this way, the only way the brain can level itself out is by pushing the head in front of us, okay? What that causes is now a straight neck over time, and now instead of having nice equal shock absorbency, with the head straight or the neck straight, now you've got this 15 pound head putting all the pressure at the bottom of the neck, okay? As we can see here, the bottom of the neck is starting to form bone spurs, meaning the bones are starting to grow together. We're getting less space in between those. Now the vertebrae need space in between them because that's where our nerves come out to our entire body. And when the vertebrae come together in the bottom of the neck, that's where the nerves to the arms, the hands, and the elbows go to, including things like the heart and the lungs as well. But we're just talking about arm symptoms today. So again, when we're putting pressure on the bottom of the neck because of a straight neck, we start to see the pain, the numbness, and tingling down the arms because those nerves have pressure on them. So how does upper cervical help with the bottom of the neck? Well, if we can get this bone back to where it needs to go, the brain can now rebalance itself. We can reestablish this curve in the neck, taking pressure off the bottom of the neck and thus taking pressure off the nerves in the bottom of the neck. Now we can have fully functioning and fully healing nerve signals to the arms and the hands, thus the symptoms go away. It really is that simple. So if you or someone you loved is struggling with arm conditions, okay, give our office a call at 704-588-5560 and we can find out if you have an upper cervical problem and maybe we can help out. If you're not in the Charlotte area, give us a call anyway, and I promise we will find an upper cervical doctor close to you. Thanks for listening, and have a wonderful day. All you need to know is that conventional medical care really just treats the effects of your condition. Drugs and surgery really just mask the symptoms. And although surgery can be warranted sometimes, very rarely is it needed. With upper cervical care, we find the cause of your condition by finding the misalignment in the top of the neck, putting pressure on your brainstem, which interferes with the messages between your brain and your body. Give our office a call today.